Welcome to Looking Within, a podcast for the spiritual explorer in each of us. I'm Julie. I love to explore the inner life using contemplative practices, and I love to help others to do the same. In our time together, I hope you gain a sense of hope, meaning, joy, and love. As a Christian spiritual explorer, I hope to offer some thoughts to help you see God's presence and activity in ever-expanding ways. As you listen, ponder, and experience the divine, feel free to use the spiritual perspective you are most comfortable with in our practice today. Now, let's begin. Like fall in the Midwest, perhaps you live in an area where the leaves of various deciduous trees turn from their summertime color of green to a variety of shades of red, yellow, orange, and brown. Along with the cooler temperatures, it's really quite a lovely time of year, providing a threshold of beauty and transition between summer and winter. Of course, once the leaves turn colors, you know what will eventually follow. Most of the trees will lose their leaves, uncovering the branches and twigs that have been covered all spring and summer by the leaves that have now fallen. There's a certain beauty in a bare tree. Its shape, its true form, including all of its interesting imperfections, is in full view for some months to come. Thoughts of trees in the fall as they let go of their leaves leads us to today's episode entitled, Discard and Let Go. This line of thinking became of great interest to me several years ago when, along with others at work and at home, I read Marie Kondo's book on decluttering. Our college-age son did a major decluttering of his spaces in our home, even making it through decluttering the final category of sentimental items, an amazing and challenging accomplishment. A group of us at church also traveled together as we did some serious decluttering of our homes, garages, and storage units. Kondo was right. As the decluttering proceeded, there was a tangible sense of a weight being lifted off of our homes and a weight being lifted off of us as we had fewer items to maintain, store, and take up space. Perhaps the tree's annual ritual of shedding their leaves provides us with a helpful metaphor for what this might feel like in our own lives. Listen to a quote from the book, The Sages Tao Te Ching, Ancient Advice for the Second Half of Life by William Martin. It gives us some wonderful language to unpack as we think about discarding and letting go in our own lives. Martin writes, Each day that passes, the wise person discards another useless weight. Finally, all the accumulated burden of a life spent seeking something is gone. In its place is a lightness of being and a clarity of seeing that makes a heaven of each moment. Make it your daily discipline to lay aside one little thing, a tiny fear, a simple preconception, a useless book, a piece of household clutter, a habit of avoidance, a bit of shame or guilt, a desire that distracts, even a good intention. What will be left is life itself. Thinking about our bare winter trees again, it's fascinating to observe them once they've let go of their leaves. With all the leaves of summer, green and fluttering in the warm breezes, or wildly colorful and falling in autumn, you truly see the actual full tree. It might be bare now, but it has a beauty, even a sense of hidden life and vibrancy to it. As we move toward our moments of quiet contemplation, Be open to what the metaphor of the tree can mean for you. As Martin reminds us, there are aspects of our lives that have had to do with seeking, with accumulating, accumulating leaves on the tree of our life, as it were. Things like possessions, habits, stories of bev, bitterness, entitlement, victimhood, certain beliefs and values that bear re-examination, even admirable things like accolades, achievements, and accomplishments of various sorts. But just as a tree lets go of its leaves, making room for the new growth of the following spring, 
do you ever sense the desire to discard, to let some things go, and to travel more lightly on your journey? In Martin's words, perhaps there's a part of you that longs to experience a lightness of being and a clarity of seeing that makes a heaven of each moment. Perhaps there's a part of you that suspects there are things you could now leave behind in order for the real, true you to come to life, or for a new and evolving version of you to spring into action. This true you is the person being shaped on your journey with God. Let's think about that as we settle into the quiet. In this quiet space and time, I'd invite you to gently close your eyes. A sound the Tibetan singing bowl, which will call you to look within. As you're listening to the bowl's reverberations, take three deep breaths. Then let your breathing return to normal whenever you'd like. Hear the sound of the bowl now. Let it center you. Let it remind you that God is here with you. Picture a tree in your mind, dropping its leaves in the fall. Then see it bare, having completed its annual ritual. It has a unique and wonderful beauty to it. This tree is you. How are you being called to discard and let go of some things that are no longer needed on your journey? Is there a fear you can drop? A simple preconception, a piece of household clutter, a habit, a bit of shame or guilt, a desire that distracts, even a good intention. Rest in that lightness of spirit as you discard and let go. I'll be back with you in about three minutes.
I'd invite you now to take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out. Let these breaths fill you with strength and energy. Hear me sound the Tibetan singing bowl, and as the sound of the bowl reverberates and slowly dies away, you can gently open your eyes, remaining still for a moment longer. The William Martin quote that I read earlier ends with the words, What will be left is life itself. That life, I believe, is the presence of Christ within each of us, the true us, the Christ self within us. As we take some time each week to look within, may you open your mind and heart to notice ways to travel more lightly on your journey, to discard and let go of things and ways of thinking that no longer serve you. And may you live in that image and likeness of the divine that you are, experiencing the life itself that is always waiting within you to be discovered and lived out. Thank you for making time for your inner self today. Whatever you've discovered and experienced, carry that with you in the coming days. You can find more episodes at our website, Gloria-Day, that's D-E-I, dot com, slash Looking Within Podcast, or subscribe through your favorite podcast app. We'll see you next time.